Warning, the Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up? Creeper, San Diego, Chris the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? I have a real simple question for you. And I'm not asking this question in a conventional sense. I'm asking, do we need Amico? We as a people, we as in a society, do we need Amico? And I don't mean it as in, you know, did we really need another remake of that movie? Or did we really need another sequel? Or did we really need another console? All right, let's just say that. Do we need another video game console? I don't mean it in that respect. And I hope I can convey what I'm talking about here eloquently enough that you understand where I'm coming from. But as a concept, as an idea, do we as a people, do we need Amico? And the idea came to me the other day when I was watching some of the recap on the Texas event when folks actually got to diddle around with the Amico and play. And it was exciting to see some of our friends online here get to play it. And maybe there's a little bit of jealousy, just a little bit. But uh, in all seriousness, no, it, it helped make things feel a little bit more real as it can't, comes to um, this console that we've been excited for or hating on for the past however long. But more so, I was, I was, I was excited to see and hear what the average individual, and we're all average, but you know what I'm talking about, the folks that didn't even know it existed. They just walked into the museum one day and there was this thing to demo. So they walked up to it and said, hey, may I give it a shot? And of course, Tommy and his team were like, yeah, here, play with this and let us know what you think. And I was interested more into their conversation. Because, hey, look at this, the count. I love that dude. I love the count. You know, side tangent, when you go to the Dollar Tree, they have those little, little vinyl Sesame Street characters. They never have the count. It's not part of the line. I don't understand why the count toys are so hard to find. I want a fucking little, I want a little vinyl count toy. Make that a physical media, Tommy. Damn. For God's sakes, a little vinyl one. A little two and a half, three inch guy. But back to what I was saying. Uh, so I'm watching recaps of these folks uh, enjoying it. And some of our friends are recapping their experience watching them. And one of those gentlemen, I can't remember offhand, I apologize, but they had mentioned that they saw a young person giggling while playing the game. And I'm saying to myself, do we need Amico? Does this just kind of prove that we needed Amico? And I don't think it totally proved it. But I, I think I think in concept of what it's supposed to be, I think that was proof. I think that was a really good proof of concept, regardless of whatever conspiracy theory you want to come up with as a result of the event. It's really just as simple as there was a console or two. I don't know how many. I think just a one. Set up. A bunch of people played it. And people had a good time. End of story. But speaking of times, today's times pretty fucking ugly out there isn't it it's really ugly and, and on top of that I mean of course we have a pandemic I mean you have this this thing online and and you know what I'm talking about the world in general the world is an ugly place it kind of always has been a rough place but it just seems to get uglier and uglier and uglier you know we have little spouts of coolness here and there but especially with the internet it's gotten ugly I mean think about the early days of popularity of the internet the mid 90s it really wasn't that much to be had online. It was disagreements, and there was some trolls, the early days of trolling. Um, and there was a little bit of drama here and there, but, you know, in our chat rooms, it was pretty cool, you know? And then moving on the forums, I had a couple of my own. I had one called the Horror, the Horror Prop Chop Shop. And once in a great while, we'd have a couple of disagreements, but it was all right. Moving on to uh, social media, what, MySpace. Mm, things started getting a little squeamish there, a little, a little ugly, you know. I wasn't your top eight, eh, you know. Um, but I think as the internet grew, people found that, that faceless platform, that safety net of being able to get out there and be like, hey. And it gave people who wanted to be passionate about things a free platform. And it gave people who wanted to be hateful about things the same thing. And, you know, to each their own. Seriously, to each their own. If you have a channel where... You focus on, and I'm going to specifically talk channel now, but this is just in general. But where you want to spew negativity, that's fine with me. I don't care. But, you know, you got to ask yourself, what am I doing? What am I doing that, that, that 
offers anything. In, in, in most cases, none. You're, you're not offering shit. You're just uh, giving people an excuse to walk away or feed into your negativity. And it's pretty sad when I'm watching a live stream and the guy running the live stream has a shitty tone, first of all, when he's talking in general. But then he says something to the tune of all these people who promote positivity have no spine. I promote positivity. Do I look and sound like a guy who doesn't have a fucking spine? You know, there are channels devoted to nothing but that. Chasing that fucking negative fucking uh, view on things. And not to mention everything else in the world. So we'll we'll get off of the the, the, the haters and everything. And I'm not talking about haters of the Amico. I'm just talking in general now. So since I said the word Amico, I'm going to ask the question again. Do you think we as a people need, need the Amico? No, it's been a rough year. It's been a rough year. And for me, um, it started off it last March with my mom going in the hospital with COVID. It just kept going downhill. These last 24 hours, look at me. Would you buy a car from this guy? I'm fucking exhausted mentally. I'm exhausted physically. It's an ugly place out there, guys. It's a it's a real ugly place out there. So in comes the Amico. Let's talk about the Amico. Not necessarily as just a, a game console. How about as a concept? As a concept. Now there are folks out there that, that scarf at the idea of what the Amico is supposed to be doing. And they talk about the Switch a lot. And there is some credibility to that argument. Just last week I opened a controller here on, on my channel. Here's a, a little bit of a spoiler for you guys. I'm really enjoying that controller. For when I do my my formal my formal review, um, having a good time with it and it's doing what it's supposed to do and then some. But I was more excited about that not because of owning another controller. I get controllers all over the house for different things, but so the four of us can play. So yes, with the Switch we can all play a game, but we're not all going to agree on what game to play when it comes to that. But there aren't that many options, at least in my house. With the Switch, you have a handful of options of, of multiplayer games and, and, and games that are, are drawn towards the camaraderie, so to speak. I mean, you could play multiple player games, but that doesn't mean there's a camaraderie to the whole thing. But something like Mario Kart or, or something like a Mario Party or something like that, uh, it's designed for that. Now, going back to the Amico, yeah, that's fucking designed for that, too. I mean, it's very specifically designed for that. In fact, it's designed for that in the opposite way that the Switch is. See, the Switch is asking you for a specific experience. Um, people playing video games. And you have the ability and the option to jam with people. You have the ability to jam with people, and it's fun. Whereas with the Amico, now we're talking about it as a console. We're going to go back and forth from an idea in console. It's designed to have people in mind. It's designed for that multiplayer. It's designed for that co-op. It's designed for that versus. With the option of kind of playing by yourself once in a while, you know? It's just kind of ironic that Tommy wants to get a console out like that. And now we got this fucking pandemic going on. <laughs> where it's kind of frowned upon to group up with people. And I, I had to mention that because people are... Using that as a negative against Amico and the team of Intellivision, mainly speaking Tommy. But they don't want to realize that this concept came before any pandemic happened. And the idea of trying to think, I think maybe he should stop doing this because of... Come on. Do you really think he's going to work all that hard, spend all that money and time and research and, and production and testing... To sit there and say, okay, well, we got a pandemic now. I'm no longer going to worry about my concept. Get the fuck out of here, you unrealistic fuck. But does the world need a Miko? As a concept, yes. I believe the world needs a Miko now more than, more than ever before. Um, now going on the concept of a Miko, not necessarily the, con the console itself. Sure, the console. Uh, when it gets marketed and it's actually in the store, I think what's going to happen is people are going to see that it's asking for that different experience that hopefully I mentioned earlier. I keep getting phone calls and interrupted. I have a kid home from school that's sick. I got a mom in the friggin' hospital. I got doctors calling me, case managers calling me. So please excuse me if this is all over the place. But I think people are going to see. They're going to see this thing called the Intellivision Amico, and they're going to read the things that say the words that have the concept. 
and I think it very well in a lot of cases could make people go you know what that sounds good right now much like when you're out in the yard you're out in your yard you're working hard you're sweating your fucking balls off someone says would you like a glass of lemonade would you like a nice frothy beer yeah you know what I was just busting my ass over here not realizing I was thirsty but now that you've mentioned it I could really use a refreshing beer or a lemonade whatever sweat off a monkey's balls whatever your poison is I think people the average individual not necessarily us we can bicker about this all day long we have a little bit of a different point of view we have a we have a different luxury when it comes to talking about television amico whether we're for or against it but that mom and son that walked in and just started playing had a good time not that they couldn't do that with anything else but i think when it's in your face like that and it's being marketed in a specific way and they're saying you know what sure it's video games and everything but they're asking for something else. They're asking for an experience. Not just for you to play video. See, Nintendo, Xbox, and Micros, and, and uh, 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 Sony, they're asking for a different experience. I'm pretty sure I've already said that. They're asking you to play as a gamer. They're asking you to pick this up and buy it because it's popular. They're asking you to pick this up and play by yourself or get somebody involved. But it's a personal experience. Whereas Amico, as a concept, is asking for a completely different experience. And I think that's really what's going to set it apart from anything else. Sure, it's going to be in the video game section. Of course it's going to be. And maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe Tommy has something up his sleeve. Um, I think it would be stupid not to be in the video game section. But people are going to see whatever display or whatever advertisement. And it's going to ask of them something completely different and god damn it as my witness it's something that we need now more than anything else and i think just that idea alone even if it doesn't succeed in doing that i think as a concept as an idea the seed itself could be planted and it could grow into something else now do i want the amico to be the thing to do that yes yes i fucking do but would it be equally as beneficial if it was just a spark that lit the fire? Yes, I do. So either way, Amico is needed more than we have ever needed something on this planet. I really believe this. And I could be made fun of all day long. That one little website that's on, on Tumblr? Have at it, bros. Have at it with all your quotes and your fucking stupid memes. Make all the videos you want making fun of me. But at its simplicity, at its at its base core, do we need do we need Amico? Yes. I think we need Amico and not for the traditional reasons why we would need another game console. Guys, thank you so much for listening. And uh, if you're gonna flap your gums, I hope you hope you watch the whole video or there is zero credibility to anything that you are going to spew out of your shithole. This one, not that one. Whatever you do with that shithole's on you. Guys, I want to know what you think down below on this topic. I don't care what you think about the Amico. I don't care. Do you think anything what I just said makes sense? I think it does. I think it's time. I think Amico needs to happen. And I hope it does. I hope it. There's my boy again. Ah, 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 ah. One Amico. Two Amico. Three Amico. That's going to be... That's going to be OEB Pete's house. <laughs> 11 teen amigos. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But they can't be Thunder and Lightning because he's always happy, you know. He's going to have sunshines and fucking Teletubbies dancing around. But in all seriousness, guys, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the Creeps Positive. Again, don't forget to go down below. I'm actually wearing last year's campaign shirt. Uh, donate to the Alzheimer's Association using the link below. All money goes directly to the Alzheimer's Association to fund research and to render aid to those who care for loved ones going through this dreadful disease. Please consider donating or sharing the link. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, if you are one of my sponsors, I need to hear from you before the 15th is over. 
Um, I need your logos for this next year's shirt. I just got a, a message from the shirt maker himself, Ryan D. Designs of, of uh, Cryptic Line Works. And he's, he's rock steady, ready to rock and roll. Guys, thank you always so much for taking the time to listen to me. Um, I apologize for my tone. I'm exhausted. Mentally, physically. It's tough. I need Amico now. Actually, no. You know what I need right now? I need my pillow. I need my bed. I need to sleep. <laughs> and I also need to finish this this guitar. I got the, the pickups in it. And I got the paint on it. It's a hammered steel finish. You'll see it soon enough. Guys, hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoy your week. What is it? It's Monday. Fuck. I didn't, I didn't go to work today because of my mom. So I had to do things. But yeah, hope you're doing well. Until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye. Keep doing your work, Tommy, man. Don't listen to those dicks. <laughs>